At one point or another, we all represent something. It can be our families, our employer, our school, or just ourselves. For those of us that work to represent our communities, there is a special responsibility to do it well. Janaea Haslip is a senior at Still Rocks High School. She excels in the classroom, on the basketball court, and she just joined the softball team. She represents Still Rocks, and her coach thinks that she does a pretty good job of that. She's Still Rocks as a whole. You know, we, we've we've been through many discussions together over the last you know year year plus of you know what it takes you know to be a Still Rocks alum and what it takes to represent this community. And it's hardworking people that don't get frustrated when times get really really rough. And you know she's gone through times that have been really really rough, but never hung her head. And she's going to come out on top because she understood what the passion is to be successful. And I don't compare her to anybody. And like just like Dante's, we don't compare him to anybody. But those are two examples of what it takes to make something of yourself. You know, just because you know the water might not be running today doesn't mean that it won't be running tomorrow. And don't give up just because you you face a you know a couple things like that. And. You know, she's a prime example of what it's going to take to get out of here. And, you know, it takes hard work, it takes committed people, and people not to hang their heads. Even still, Janaea hasn't had it easy. Early on, with family life, school, work, basketball, and the social life all bearing down on her, it was hard for her to recognize the opportunity before her. When I came back junior year, I just felt like I was real humble. Like, I didn't have any new school clothes to come to. I just got my first honors class and I got straight A's. And so in the second, third, fourth semester, I switched all my classes to honors and I still had straight A's. And I wanted to transfer it up to the court. I realized I could really be a student athlete. You know what I mean? So I just really went hard at just school and basketball. Left everything else alone through and it, it paid off. From there, Janaea started to understand what it meant to lead. She understood that it was time for her to set an example, not only for her teammates, but for everyone around her. That's one thing with Janaea too, she has a great personality, but you don't mess with Janaea. You know, she might be five foot one, but she's gonna let you know when you're doing something right, she's gonna let you know when you're doing something wrong. I didn't wanna be a bad example. I didn't wanna come back, I didn't wanna be the one telling people, oh, you gotta work hard, you don't wanna be like me. I want people to be like, work hard so you can be like me. You also see that out in the hallways, you know, pushing girls in classrooms. I mean, she'd be all over the freshmen in the classroom that came in and kind of try to be a little immature, and she would say, hey, I used to be in those shoes, and I used to be immature like that, you know? But then I realized I'm not gonna get anywhere being like that. I would like to be that person, students, like regular students who are athletes can look up to, and that person, athletes who aren't so good at being students can look up to. Because of all of this growth, Janae is a straight A student and is weighing her options for where she'll attend college and play basketball. Through it all though, she recognizes what and who helped her. It's just a lot, it's a lot of support. If you do the right thing, then you're gonna get help. You're gonna get people helping, just all around. In the community, like, just going to the store, people asking me like, I don't know your name, but they know me and I play basketball. And it's an honor to be able to walk around with my hoodie on and know that I'm not just someone, like we're not just a team that just is a team. Like we're a family, like you see us together, we've been together, we've been working, you know? Like it's actually something when you see Star Wars Ladies basketball. At the end of the day, you know, she just looked at me on the bus after the playoff game and she just said, gave me a hug and said, thanks, Coach. Thanks for everything. And all those six years together, that summed it all up right there. <laughs> that really hit home hard. I'll try to hold it together on the camera, but that really hit home hard, you know? And, I felt at the end of the day, and I will even, you know, senior recognition night and graduation night, it's like, you know what, some days I can't hit everybody, you know, but at the end of the day when I see her walk across the stage and what she's going to go do with her life, you know, all the time that I put in and dedicated a, even away from my family to put in, you know, to her, it really is going to pay off and, it, and that feels good. Janae is making it cool to set a positive example. I think we're all just excited to see what's next for her and for the people that she continues to set an example for. She is Stowe Rocks.